This simple little item holds a world of possibilities. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. My granddad used to read the paper every Sunday morning. He would take the rubber band that held it in a roll and he would make a rubber band ball out of it. That thing got so big that it fell off the pedestal that he had it displayed on and it broke five toes on his right foot because that's how many toes he had on his right foot. Five. I would remember this if it were true. It's not true. It's You're not lying. True. Nope, it's not true. You just made up a lie. Yep, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm sorry. So uh, in addition to Link lying, what we're also gonna do today is explore some other amazing uses for rubber bands because it's time for Let's Get Weird With It Rubber Bands. So we've decided to take this beautiful little machine. It's not technically a machine. Uh, well, uh, okay. It, there's Here's two of them and Look, now it's a machine. Possibly. Look at that. And develop some life-changing hacks in a number of categories. First, food hacks. Everybody loves it when they take out their lunchbox, pop it open, and they have some pre-sliced apples. Oh yeah, mom loves me. Yes, because you don't wanna, you could dislocate your jaw just trying to bite a regular apple. True, my granddad did that. The problem with pre-sliced apples is the brownness. What's up with if that? If you wait like three or four hours, you're gonna get brown apple slices, nobody wants that. Here comes in the rubber band. How would you feel if you opened up your Qbert lunchbox, that's what I had as a kid, mm -hmm. and you saw this? Check it out. It's just, it looks like a normal apple with a rubber band around it. But it's not, Link, because check it out. Whoa, it's like Pandora's apple box. <laughs> Look at that. It's pre-sliced apples, just like this. Every oh. one of them. You don't eat that part, it's the core. Totally fresh. Mm. Totally apple. Um, so, so yeah, that's floating around Pinterest. Now, we didn't invent right, it. We didn't invent that one because that one has turned up on the internet before. But uh, what about if you're a banana lover? You want to not only have sliced apples, but you want to slice your banana. Well, we can slice a banana with a rubber band. You're going to need a buddy for this one. Buddy number one holds a big rubber band. Yeah. Buddy number two so peels the banana. I mean, peeling the banana takes a lot of effort. You yeah. know, I am exhausted right now. And we haven't figured out how to use a rubber band for that stage yet. Since I'm so exhausted, I'm like, there's no way I could slice this. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to layer down. Very practical. And then I'm just going to... Get it really swinging up there. Almost. Three, two, one. Okay. And then, well, you, you know, it might... A, it's a hard banana. It might take a couple, but... That's right, yeah. You really get it? Okay, I think you might need what you need to do is you might just need to do like this. Take it and just do a whole bunch, like a saw, just like boom, 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 boom. Like short and sweet, just a bunch of them. Same. Yeah, here you go. Now, it's, oh, oh, here you go. You're getting through. You're getting through. You're getting through. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's it's like playing a stand-up bass. Almost through, almost through, almost all the way. Oh, tired! Other arm. Actually, it'll, you'll get a nice slice. Yes! yes! There it is. So, <laughs> oh. super practical. Now I gotta pack it into the school, okay. into the yep. lunchbox. Yeah, you can put it right back so together. that goes right here. You get your mom or your buddy to just slice every single one of those pieces into however many pieces you want. And then you just take, guess what, another rubber band. Yeah. And then you just put that right. Yeah, you might need another one. You left the, <laughs> the <laughs> slice part We worked out. so hard. I don't wanna leave that out. No, you gotta put that back in there or else it's kinda pointless. And then there you go. I can put another one on there too for you. Yeah. And then you get to lunch and everybody's like, look at that banana he's got. It hasn't been prepped in any way. And then you pop that out. But it yeah, has. Like my mom did with the rubber band. That says love right there. Yeah. Of course, nobody likes the jerk with the Bluetooth earpiece. And an easy way around that is to simply attach your phone to your head. Hello. But that, that just seems so obvious to us that we decided to go a step further. Uh, how about hands-free Tooth brushing. You thought about that? Multitasking anybody? Multiple times. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a normal toothbrush and you're gonna boil it in water and then you're gonna bend it. Then you're gonna apply a little toothpaste of your choosing. You need a couple of these, side brother? Side to side. Or you could do that or first here. Get your, get your buddy to hold the toothbrush. Your toothbrush buddy. And then you're gonna just, you know, just right around here, right up over the lip. <laughs> like that. And then one. <laughs> That's a little you bit. got a skin stash over your real stash. Yeah, just one that's kind of right over the nose like that. Oh, and then that? Yeah, that's so how you're gonna get inside both of those. Oh, it's, it's kind of on your eye. It's literally on your eyeball. Yeah, 
Okay, you just get into kind of the Garth Brooks position. Even if you said Britney Spears, that would be dated. Yeah, Garth Brooks did that 20 years ago. But I was a fan. I think man. Ariana Grande does it today, you know. Okay. What I like to do is You look just, like one of those gamers, really. That's just how gamers brush their teeth. Once you, you get know? in the right position, you just move the, move the teeth. Yeah. See, I, I'm pretty much just getting the bottom teeth. Those are the only ones then people you don't, see anyway. Then, it, then you move it up to the top teeth with the tongue. But still, but be be playing a game, be like typing or playing like a video game. I could be playing baseball. It's uh, like, what does that new pitcher have on his mouth? Is it some sort of telemarketing and then, device? And then when you're done and you just want to be a normal person, you just take take the tongue out, move it out of the way, and that and now you're just going about your day. And I know what you're thinking. That's such a great idea. Can that also be applied to eating food? And I'm like, yes, yeah, it can. Of course it can. Um, of course, I'm going to go with some cereal. I'm going to take my glasses off. You don't need glasses Good to call. eat. Good call. Good call. And then I'm going to put this one right here. And this one right here. Yo, yeah, that's good. Oh, you don't like that right That's here. real good. Then you take take this and you just put it under here. It's the same principle. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same except it's a spoon. Except, except it's a spoon. Yeah. And this is kind of like a... Garth Brooks. And then, um, you know, you just get... Get down in your bow. I'm yeah. sure this will work. And you can be typing something while you're right. eating. Right. Yeah. Right. Or playing. Playing, playing, uh, playing a game. PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Now you might say, "Why don't you just eat that the cereal one. like a dog?" But no, that that that's not the same. That wouldn't. You're be... a human. Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. stoop down to the level. Don't of... stick your whole snout into anything. Like ever. we we walk on two legs for a reason. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> these other legs have hands on them, and, and then, we, do, we do stuff while we're eating. Yeah, right. Business with the hands. Pleasure with the spoon. Yep, right, uh-huh. Yeah. And get it right in there. And then when you're done eating, you can just use your tongue and get it, just get it out of the way. Like, you really gotta just, yeah, just push it down. It's, there, there you go. <laughs> and if you do it right, it's like a chin guard. Yeah, that's for most of the, most of the day it's a chin guard, but right. then when you're eating. It's like, boom, I got a spoon. It's a spoon. Look at that man with a, with a chin guard. You're welcome. My grandma, after coming back from the hospital with my granddad's foot, would always uh, come up to me when I was seated, and she'd be like, posture, yeah, sit up straight. It's important. Sit up straight. You got a banana right, in the, right on the middle of your nose. Really? <laughs> like something, like there you go. Oh, I got it. You got it, that's why you have a buddy. So she would, she would give me the posture, and she would just come over, Yeah. and she would say, you know what, when you're, when you're old, you want to leave with the chest, just like when you're young. Yeah. Um, it's going to take a rubber band to do that. A really big honking rubber right. band. Yeah. Get them at like an office supply store or the internet. Grandma's everywhere going to start doing this, going up behind grandkids, just saying, arms up, boy. And then put it down here around the waist. Then you grab it this way, turn it over to make an eight. Arms up. There we go. And now you got yourself a nice belt there. And then. This isn't really helping with my posture yet. And then the second one, and then arms up. This right here goes down here, and then you pull really far here, give it another figure eight, and then look up. Look at me. This is going to be okay. There we go, right there. Boop. And then look at that. That just pulls you into place. Look how good you look. I might need a turtleneck over all of it. <laughs> yeah, we recommend covering all this with a turtleneck. I can sleep like this. I'm going to let my body turn into jello. <laughs> no difference. You can't tell. Let me do this to you. Okay. Okay, Grandma. All right, so then pull it back, figure eight it. Twist it. Go back over. All right. Oh. And bring that down there so it's like. Arms up. Oh, man. Twist. And then, Grandma, is that you? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's good. Uh, oh, my goodness. I, now, I'm having I've, trouble breathing. I got to tell you, I've been, this has been about a, a you know, a minute on my neck, and I think I'm losing a lot of blood. No, you're not losing it. It's just all down here. I don't think my brain's getting any blood. My brain's not getting any blood either. But you, you know don't what? Need I got blood. great posture. When you got posture like this, I think I'm gonna faint and just be stuck up like this. Look at that. See that goozle? Check this out. Yeah. Watch this. Oh gosh. This is no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh! That's it's, gonna hurt you. Oh, look at that. You look like a smoker that has like a little hole on there. <laughs> Don't be like me. I wish I'd stop smoking. Smoking. I wish I'd stop. Now I'm a robot. Stop smoking. Mm. Uh, my brain is not thinking anymore. <laughs> yeah. But this is great. Okay, if you're like me, sometimes you have a guest over to your house and they're thirsty for milk in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you're also like me, sometimes your hands don't work really well in the morning and you oh, try to yeah. grab the top of the milk and it's like, I can't. Floppy I just, hand. I just can't wake up enough to get hold Floppy of it. Floppy morning hand. Well, you know what can help with that? 
What? If you want to get milk from this jug into your buddy's mouth? 400 rubber bands. Rubber bands. Okay, so the reason we have plastic all over the set is because this is what I do when I have guests over. I don't like to get their cooties everywhere, so I just cover my entire house <laughs> with plastic. Plus, we're going to explode a, a gallon well, of Well, we milk. don't know if that's going to happen or not, right? I hope it doesn't. So you're my guest. You're my buddy. You woke up and said, Thanks for having me, Red. I really would like a gallon of milk in my face. And I was like, I can't do it. So then I was like, break out the rubber bands. So you're going to get your buddy, your guest, to give you rubber bands, and you're going to proceed to, whoa, to put them around the milk jug. Just turn it up for starters, maybe. It might take a while. You're going to want to do this. Uh, gosh, I'm having problem? lots of trouble. I, I'm, ner I'm nervous around my guests. I should be nervous. I'm just trying to make sure you're 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 alive and awake and ready to receive your milk. You still thirsty? I'm parched for some lactose. This is gonna take, I think, uh, a few hundred. Oh, I hear a little. You hear that? It's it's singing to us. Oh, gonna go ahead and aim it at you. Dang man, that. Cap's gonna be a projectile. No, oh, no, it's it won't hurt you. It's light. Okay. Well, Aim it this we've been way. doing this for a while now. Gotten to know my friend even better. He's still thirsty. I'm staring down the barrel of a gallon of milk here. You know the interesting thing is I've done so many rubber bands on this thing that I kind of feel like my hands have woken up. I think I could probably just open this milk for you now. Open them wide. Oh. <laughs> Get it wise, Fred. <laughs> uh, did you see oh, that? Oh gosh, it was. I'm so glad that missed me. It was such an amazing. It was just blast. It was like a cannon like, of milk. It hit the top of my head. I was like, oh. Uh, sorry, I missed your face. <laughs> Dude, I'm glad that didn't hit my face. You still thirsty? Not so much. Let's not try that again. Okay. Well, you see how easy that was. Your friend wanted a little milk and uh, a few rubber bands did the trick. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Brady from Westland, Oregon, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. If moving pictures, i.e. video, is just too much for you to take in, and you just want to see one frame at a time, you should go to our Instagram, Rhett and Link. It's easy. Yeah, but first, click through to Good Myth Gamora. Click that eye. Well, we're going to do the rubber band face challenge because that's another weird thing you can do with rubber bands. Make yourself look awesome in the face area. CrossFit, the musical. Look at me. Look at me, too. I'm over here. Pumping, we do this pumping. thing together. Yeah, that inward. makes us cooler than you. Squat thrust. Look at my squat butt. thrust. It's getting lots of squat bigger. Thrust. I'm putting it on squat Instagram. Thrust. Is it's that bigger. what I Instagram it's bigger. is now? It's bigger because I'm on CrossFit, boy. Bubbling up. I don't have hardly any on. I can't see on my right eye anymore. Uh, look how gross that was. <laughs> you look horrifying. Do something, man. Do more on the face, man. I'll win this rubber band challenge.